keep going. Okay. Um, what we learned today is how to solve this. And first, like on this, on this line you have four, and then you have to put two in for x. So you take four times two minus two, which would be six. So then it would be two six. Yes, it does. Um, on the next line, you take 4 times 4 minus 2. 4 times 4 is 16, and then when you minus 2, it's 14. So then it would be 4, 14. Probably can't read my handwriting. And then the next line would be 4 times 6 minus 2. 6 times 4 is 24. And then 24 minus 2 is 22. So then it, it would be 6 over 22. Okay. Yeah. Tell me where I need to go up or down. Okay. Up or down. Up. Up it. That's good. Okay. You take 4 times 8 in place of x minus 2, and that would, you take 4 times 8, which is 32, minus 2 equals 30, so that's what your y equals. And then you have 8, comma, 30 as your... There's a glare. <laughs> Till, till it, uh, there you go, now there's no glare. Okay. And the next one you have 4 times 10 minus 2. 10 in place of the x. So then you get 40 minus 2 equals 38. So then you have 10 and 38 as ordered pairs. And uh, what we learned was, and what this directions were was use the given values to complete the table for solutions. And this is your given value.